Hi, I'm Heather. I'm one of the artists here at the Magic of Disney Animation at Disney's Hollywood Studios in Florida. This is where we show hundreds of guests every day how to draw their favorite Disney characters. Today I'm going to show you how to draw Pascal from Disney's Tangled. Blend Ryder calls him a frog, but we all know he's a chameleon. I really cannot with Rapunzel because she is an artist too. Let's go ahead and draw. So what we're going to do, we're going to start out with a simple circle about the size of a tennis ball. We want to put this circle down closer to the bottom. His tail is going to be closer to the top. So we want to plan out our spacing accordingly first. So let's go closer to the bottom of the paper, just up above it, about the size of a tennis ball, and let's use our shoulder to draw in that circle. So let's act like we're stirring something above our paper really quick. When you're getting more comfortable, you bring that pencil closer to that paper. So let's go ahead and sketch that out several times, make it messy. So now what we want to do, we're going to draw an oval overlapping on top of that circle. And if you overlap the shapes, it's going to make it look like the head is coming on top of that body. So it looks like it's connected better. So what I like to do is just go ahead and quickly sketch it out. We're not going to worry too much on what the oval looks like at this point. So we're just going to sketch it out, get the idea down first. Nice and easy, several times. And if we need to change up a line, I'll show you how easy it is to change up a line later on. So don't worry about that. Once you link these two shapes together, we're going to work with his tail. His tail is going to curve up toward that middle peg. So what I want to do is think of like a backwards six or a lowercase d. Either one will work. When it come up, to that middle peg. Okay. What's going to do from there is actually going to swirl around several times. So you can practice really quick. Act like you're swirling, couple, like doing tornadoes on your paper, or maybe doing a, a cinnamon roll or Princess Leia's hairdo, um, something like that that's kind of spirally. So we're just kind of bringing this around up at the top. Okay, and as you do a swirl, you kind of get in and get smaller. So I'm going to sketch it out first. We do one time, and we're going to do one more time inside. So three times is enough for right now. He might have a couple more spirals, but we'll just keep it as simple as possible. What I want the, the tail to do is cut across the big part of the tail, the straight part of his tail anyway. And we're going to go out to the right. So we're going to stretch it out. Kind of do a little S curve there. And we'll take the, the line up above it and draw straight out to the right as well. And kind of bring this together. Okay. And then we're going to look at the inside part of his tail right here and draw straight down to his body. Okay, so let's go ahead and bring this down. Okay, we're going to get the very basics of it first before we put in the details. The details will come, but you got to make sure everything's on there. Okay, so let's kind of go into the head first and then kind of work with the details of the body later and then his legs last. Kind of keep it as simple as possible. Now we need to do construction lines to help you place the eyes, nose, and mouth on the character. The vertical line is going to go from the top of that circle down to the bottom of the circle. I'm going to curve it just a little bit so it looks like it's a little more 3D. Straight down to the bottom. Okay. Now the horizontal line, you're going to go left to right, right across that vertical line. Okay. So let's just go ahead and draw that in. Very, very light. Everything is still very light on our paper. Okay. So you'll notice we've got a lot of messy lines. We're going to draw through them. I uh, encourage that a lot to draw through the forms as much as possible. When you, um, later on, you can erase those lines that you don't want um, in your drawing once you finish the drawing out. 
So what we want to do, we're going to put in two eyes. We want to make sure we keep in big eyes for Pascal. And one thing, for if you want a cute, endearing character, you need some big eyes and sometimes funny little feet here. So big eyes, funny feet is what you want to do. So what we want to do is look at the horizontal line and go up above it and draw in a circle about the size of a quarter, roughly. So we're going to sketch that out. You notice we're drawing through the forms once again. Later on, we can keep those lines if we want to. We can erase that line right there when you, later on. So let's go on the left side of that vertical line. You're going to find the center. Okay. And I'm going to overlap it on the left side of that circle. Okay, still sketching it out using our shoulder to do all the work. Okay. And then we want to place in his irises and his pupils. I'm going to put them close to the left side of the eye just to keep it simple and go from top to bottom against the top and bottom of the eye. So we sketch that out. Now one thing that's really cool with chameleons, they can look one way with one eye and look another way with another eye. So if you want to change it up a little bit, you can put an iris right here in like the bottom corner if you want to. I'm just going to have them look in the same way on mine. So we go from top to bottom against the left side of the eye, sketch out that big iris. And then we want to draw in a pupil inside that one. So you're just going to draw a much smaller oval to fit okay, inside our iris. So now what we want to do, we want to trace over the bottom part of our eye at least and kind of get that a little bit clearer and um, a little more smoother on the line there. So we'll trace over that line. Nice and easy on the right. We'll tell you uh, Tangled is Disney's 50th Disney animated film. Glenn Keane. It had a big hand in this movie and actually started working on Disney's Tangled 14 years ahead of time when he was working on the production of Tarzan in 1996. And he started working on the story of Tangled. He started working on the software for the hair in about 2002. The movie came out in 2010. So they had a lot to work with, with on that hair, so uh, Rapunzel's. So we'll trace over the side of the eye, or iris, and the pupil. And then I'm going to do an S curve right across the top part of his eye. Kind of give him a little bit of an attitude. If you watch him in the movie, he kind of has the attitude, don't, don't mess with Rapunzel kind of <laughs> attitude. So we'll just draw a little S curve right across the top there and you can start light and go darker when you feel more comfortable and on the left side I'm going to actually find the middle of his left eye I'm going to come up and around that eye straight up go around into that circle okay Touch up that eye on the right side there. And then we're going to work with the little bump on top of his head. He does have this little like triangle type bump. And I start with the vertical line to kind of keep it as easy. Make it a small bump into the body and bring it right back down into the right side of that circle. So let's just do that together really lightly at first. Come in and come right back together. Okay, nice and easy. And then we're gonna trace over the line between the bump and the eyebrow. So we're gonna trace over that together. So let's go underneath his eyes now and basically draw in his upper lip. So if you look at the horizontal line, you can use that as a reference. I want to make sure this line kind of curves a little bit, kind of give it a little bit of a nice essence to it. Um, and just draw, just draw a horizontal line right now. 
I'm going to bring this line over uh, to the horizontal line. And just draw a little dimple right there at the top. Okay, and just a little arrow kind of shape. On the left side, you're going to bring this right up into his eye. Just like this. Very easy. Now we're going to go for the dimple. We're going to draw a line going down into the bottom of that circle. Okay, nice and easy. And bring it over into the vertical guideline. And then we're going to bring this right back up into the upper lip. And then we're going to go directly beside that and draw in another line that's duplicate. So it's back and forth over to the right side. And actually what I'm going to do once it gets into the right side of that circle, let's just stop it right there. Okay. And you're almost in completion of his head. I'm going to draw a little bit of a hint of a cheekbone right up above his dimple. I'm just drawing a curved line back and forth. And kind of lightly kind of trace over the right side of that circle. Okay. And that will be his head minus his tongue. Now the tongue, let's go ahead and put that in there next. It will stretch out into the open area. Most of the time it ends up in Flynn Rider's ear. So <laughs> what we're going to do, we're going to find just the center of his mouth. And you can give the illusion like it's going to touch the upper lip. You don't have to really touch the upper lip there. Let's draw another line right behind it. So an equal sign. You want to take the upper part of the tongue and bring it out to the left. So just go ahead and draw a straight line out using our shoulder, keeping it loose. And then we're going to go on the bottom and draw another line going straight out. Okay, the same way, maybe a little bit wider as you go out, kind of like a road widens out. Bringing this around. And we're just going to do one little loop around. So we're going to take this line and loop it around to the inside there. And this will be where his little tongue is. You can play around with that however you want to, to make it your own. The cool thing with the, these characters is kind of getting your own style in there too as well. Be creative and have fun with your with your drawings when you're when you're drawing the characters. Um, so what we want to do now is kind of trace over his body and his tail. I'm still going to stay very light on his tummy area because we're going to put in some legs and toes here. So try not to mess with this quite yet. And what I want to do is kind of look back at it and see if we need to adjust any shapes here for his um, back. And I might move it in right over here on the right. So I'm going to show you how easy it is to change up a line if you need to. And again, all those sketchy lines can be erased later on. Okay. And then I'm going to actually bring his tail in a little bit here. Okay. So we'll just show you how easy that is. Kind of bring that in and bring it down. And we'll go ahead and do the right side. Just don't go any further than the oval there. Just chase over that area. Darken in. All the way around on his little tail. We're going to darken in the inside part of his tail here. And bring this around. Okay. All right. So once we kind of get that in there, we can work with some of the legs and the toes. We're only going to show three legs and about four toes on our drawing here. Um, because the other leg is going to be on the other side of his body. So what I want to do is do kind of an S curve, and you hear this term a lot in animation, curves against straights. 
your elbow, your knee is kind of an example of that. So we'll just draw less curve. And I would go out maybe an inch. I wouldn't go any further than that. You don't need to make his legs too long. And just draw a straight line right beside it. Okay. And then we can go ahead and work with these toes. I like to think his toes kind of look like little cactuses. Um, you can think of daisy petals too as well. He's only got three on each set of toes. The one in the middle I always say is like usually the longest. It usually goes that way for like Goofy's hair or Minnie's uh, eyelashes. Um, for those kind of characters, you would do the middle one as the longest one. So I just go in there, kind of play around with it and see what you can come up with you know, on the right side too as well. Little daisy petals or something. We'll darken in his um, belly here. So we'll trace that over. And I want to put another set of toes right about here. And we want to keep it nice and round. Almost kind of like you're drawing bubble letters too as well. And the same thing on the right side. I believe they had an audition about 300 to 400 people. Um, for the roles of Rapunzel and Flynn Rider. They came across Mandy Moore and uh, Zachary Levi as Flynn Rider. We'll draw a little curved line going from his body, give a little bit of space, I'd say maybe uh, a half an inch maybe space there. Less curve. And then right beside it, let's just go ahead and make a straight line and just go ahead and just have fun with it with the toes once again. You can do each one different, each set different. Whatever makes you happiest. And then of course his other leg is going to be closer to his head there. So because again it's going to be kind of on the other side of his body here. So we'll just kind of show it closer to the head. Kind of give it the spacing so his legs aren't too close together. And then of course his little toes. Bring this around, and then the same thing on the left side. All right. And Pascal is actually based off a real-life chameleon. Uh, there's a girl on a production team, a Tangle, that owned a, a chameleon named Pascal, and that's how they kind of came up um, with that sidekick, too, as well. Uh, so I think that's a really cool um, thing that they, they added to the movie. Um, and we want to put in really quick kind of little uh, zigzags for the, uh, his back. He's kind of got a little spiky back there, and you can go crazy on yours. Put lots of zigzags. You know, maybe five is good. Um, but if you want to do more, that's fine. So you go one, two, three, four, five, six. You know, have fun with it. Go up his little tail here and do a couple of zigzags going up. All right, so you can actually toss in some random lines inside his body and create some texture for Pascal. Okay, maybe inside his head, just do some random lines and kind of create that texture. If you want to add a little tree branch inside his tail, you're going to take two parallel lines and go out to the right. So you go out to the right. And then take another line right above the bottom part of his tail, go out to the right. And to see where it comes out on the opposite side, you can draw through the forms we were talking about earlier. And bring the bottom one out to the left. And then you have a little tree branch that he's swinging on if you want. You can shade in his pupils. And you can shade in the right pupil there. And then the iris, go a little bit lighter when you shade that in because it's the color portion of the eye. Cool thing about Pascal, he changes colors so you can have your Pascal green, purple, red. Um, he turns red when he's seeing Flynn Rider for the first time and showing the men with pointy teeth. <laughs> and then we can just take our cyber pencil and shade from top left corner to bottom right corner. Um, all through it, and you can actually get messy and go outside the lines. You can just 
Just go for it, basically. Cool thing about Flynn Rider, too, all the girls had a hand on picking the look of Flynn Rider. They brought all the girls on the production team together in the room with the two directors. And they said, okay, you guys have at it. <laughs> you let us know what Flynn Rider is going to look like. So they had to get the smolder in there and everything. And Pascal knows all about that smolder. <laughs> shade in the back of the mouth too as well um, and then we can go ahead and sign our artwork at the bottom of your paper somewhere you can be creative and put your name above his toes if you want put your name on it and you can also put in your date too as well so that way you can always know when you practice your draw and you get better and grow as an artist too as well so there it is. It's a quick lesson on how to draw Pascal from Disney's Tangled. We have lots of great character artists here at the Animation Academy. Come by and see us. We'll draw one of your favorite characters. We do take requests here. We'll make sure that you have the best day ever.